I think we have to be real about what's actually happening. We're talking about families. While everyone's talking about interest rates and whether or not you know people should uh, you know lose jobs or what have you, there are families being impacted by this. And I do feel there is some positive change uh, in terms of you know people trying to work through this. But look at the reality here: the market's not getting better, and we're in a very serious crisis. I, I went through some struggles here uh, since 06 and looking at what happened in the real estate industry and I found out real quick who was with me in my company, who was really willing to, who was here because they believed in the slogans on the wall and the things we said in those meetings or who was just here for a paycheck. It has to get down to that team that has a DNA that believes in what you're trying to do. And this is why a strong a team is critical, the culture of the business. People don't talk about this enough today. I don't want anyone here to build a business or build a career or to lead a life just to do it, but to realize that everything should be done with passion. This is why it's so important that you know someone creates some avenue that has a balance where we're not just talking about business, but let's get the right life skills in place. So from a business perspective, we, we teach team members to stop thinking as a support team, but realize they're a CEO of their project, a CEO of their guests, a CEO of their responsibility. And when you couple that with a good leadership, with good CEO skills, we can run the business in the way that the customer wins. To create a strong team within your household and or business. So you have to do this at home as well as in your business. Being able to impact people. The gentleman talked about impacting his children. That's something that that's just as much a CEO responsibility at home as it is in business. You are governing some serious stuff. The lives of your children, right? It's the same thing in business. We have to be able to impact people. When you come into a room, when you come into that conference room and you begin to meet with others or when you're beginning to work with uh, certain individuals to strive toward some particular financial goal, do you have what it takes to impact people? We're not getting the most out of ourselves. Are we pushing ourselves in the best way? Do you have the courage to explore where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are? It's not about not having a weakness, it's about finding it and then coupling the right uh, uh, tools to strengthen that weakness so you can be well-rounded. Is it fear? Fear of disappointing someone. Afraid to uh, not accomplish your goals. Sometimes we're so afraid to fail, we can never succeed. So this is what we have to think about. All of these things are critical. This is the root of the time management problem. It's not the schedule. It's not what you write down. It's these deeper issues at the root. That's why we talk about that. Because no one else does. And if you're not careful, you're gonna run full head of steam into business and not see that you gotta understand self. The best that I can do for you, we don't, you don't wanna try to do what I did or do what someone else did. You don't want to try to be Donald Trump or try to be some other person out there. You need to be you. There's success in you. There's an approach you have. There's something special about you. But you got to find out how to dig through all of the good in you and the bad in you and find a way to pull that success out and harness those life skills that will allow you to be the best possible CEO that you can be. You can drive your success, but it takes a mind frame that is willing to persevere through anything and take a stand. So I like to call CEOs chief execution officers as well. We have to be able to execute. What good is it to have a vision, have a theory, to have a sales pitch, but you can't execute? We have to be able to execute. Our ability to uh, provide tension and, uh, and pressure to those points that we're trying to move along. Our ability to impact people, to cause them to execute. If I'm not an executor, I can't motivate you to execute. I have to know what it feels like, what it smells like, what it tastes like. If I have that, I can inspire others to do that. Why should I join a chamber that it doesn't seem like you believe in? Why should I execute a business strategy that I don't see you be, uh, executing? All of these things are signs of your ability to truly be a CEO and a great leader in business as well.